Hey Optic Nation, how's it going? Paul here with a Black Ops free for all, and uh, this is something I haven't done in a while. It's been a uh, been a good few months since I've even touched Black Ops, let alone post a video about it. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Now, first off, you're going to notice this is a MP5 gameplay, and that's because I haven't unlocked the L96 yet. That's literally how much I haven't been playing it, and um, I decided to give it a chance and uh, try to get some videos from it because I know a lot of you guys out there definitely appreciate seeing some uh, some Black Ops footage because for, for some people out there it's um, it's one of your favourite games so if not the favourite game so I'm going to try and cater to everybody with uh, different needs and, and different uh, interests and, and whatnot but um, yeah I probably I'll probably be bringing some uh, sniper footage as well once I once I actually unlock it but um, for now I may bring some red gun gameplay. This is uh, probably a, a test just to see how how you guys uh, react to it if you like the the actual gameplay itself. I thought this was a pretty cool gameplay. It starts, starts off pretty average but uh, throughout the middle towards the end there are some really nice moments, some nice streaks and uh, it, it did turn out to be a really nice game. The score wasn't amazing but um, this is literally one of the first games I've played in, in a long time so uh, I hope you guys can appreciate that, can understand where I'm coming from and uh, I'll definitely be bringing a lot more content. I know my COD 4 session on Nation which uh, went up a few days ago did pretty fantastic. You've got quite a lot of support, not that many negative com comments or or um, anything like that really which is uh, which is awesome. You know I definitely appreciate when you guys give me that support on the videos that I deserve and, and uh, hopefully, well not hopefully, I will be bringing a lot more of the COD 4 sessions because it's definitely something I enjoy doing and uh, I can do it on a regular basis because I'm more or less a very experienced uh, player when it comes to COD 4 so I'll be definitely bringing a lot more of those and um, hopefully you guys enjoy them, possibly some Modern Warfare 2 as well but you know I don't really plan plan my videos out, I usually either hop on COD 4 or Modern Warfare 2 or whatever game it may be and then uh, hope for the best, see what happens if I get a game then I get a game, if not I'll I'll either get fed up, bored, or try something new because I don't really play uh, one game for the whole day unless I'm having such a great time on there. Or if it's uh, if it's a new game, I've I've been watching a lot of the Gears of War gameplay, Gears of War gameplay recently because a lot of the nation guys have been absolutely pumping out that content with Gears of War three, and I've got to say it looks pretty awesome. There's a lot more color. There's a lot more. Uh, game types and uh, different aspects of the game which I can definitely appreciate. I've never really played Gears of War 2 online, I've played a few games online, not not too much to uh, where where um, I actually know what I'm doing on there so I'm not really experienced when it comes to, to Gears of War but um, I'm definitely going to buy that as soon as it comes out and give it a try and definitely going to post some videos up there. If I get a beta code which I'm hoping to do over the next few days I'll be doing some, uh, some gameplays off that as well. I definitely hope you guys enjoy watching that because I've got to say Gears of War is a great franchise and if you're not into it by now then if you play Xbox of course then you definitely need to get into it because it's such an, an awesome game and for me it kind of annoys me when people compare Call of Duty to Halo and and Gears of War because it's they're totally different games and it's uh, it's not something that you should compare to each other because they're, they're, they may be first person shooters or third person shooters depending on which ones you're comparing but um you know, and and they are online with some of them. Some of them do have similar game types, such as Team Deathmatch, Search and Destroy, Capture the Flag, Capture the Leader, whatever it may be. It's uh, totally different games. And when it comes to Halo and and Gears of War, they definitely are more or less a, a team a team based gameplay. And what I mean by that is, um, in in Call of Duty, basically you could just run around and dominate if you're a good player. But when it comes to Halo, you'll definitely struggle. If uh, you're on your own against a bunch of uh, random people in your party, of course, and then uh, the the team you're up against is a experienced four four versus four uh, player, and and they'll be they'll be dominating you with uh, communication and, and team teamwork because uh, Gears of War and Halo is all about all about uh, teamwork, team shooting because. A lot of you may know about the shield system in, in Halo Reach, which means there's uh, quite a lot of bullets that you have to put in, or some uh, or some headshots. But it, it all depends on obviously what you can do in that particular situation. But yeah, I I actually haven't changed anything on Black Ops apart from a few uh, 
few classes that I've got set up, which is the MP5. I haven't touched the kill streaks at all, which is why I've got care package. I never use care package because it's such of a distraction when it comes to actually laying down the smoke and then waiting for it to come because there's there's no guarantee it's going to be a good kill streak or somebody else may even take it, kill you and take it, which can be frustrating. So uh, I never really use that, but uh, the the attack helicopter does get in a few kills for me right here and. Uh, Definitely a great game. I'm enjoying Black Ops right now. I'm going to bring in a lot more to the table because it's um, something that I've neglected for a long while and uh, I've just been focusing primarily on COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2. But I definitely want to bring more to the table. And um, I'm going to bring some Halo as well because I know a lot of you guys out there do appreciate it. Some of you aren't familiar with it. But I'm going to try and uh, convince you guys to play or even like the videos. Not, so, not necessarily clicking the like button, but actually like the videos in general. But um, yeah guys, this has been Paul. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Black Ops free for all using the MP5K and the AK74U. And uh, I'll see you all next time. If you do like this video, please leave it a like rating or even a favourite. Otherwise guys, thank you and take care. See you later.